Is Tonex the ultimate mousetrap for tone? Well, it's this great platform that's introduced modeling to the masses. You can capture your entire rig. I've already shown you how you can capture an amplifier. And today I wanna to talk about capturing individual guitar pedals. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna talk some strategies around that. And really what's the difference between using a real pedal and an amplifier versus pairing the two virtual devices in the box? Well, that's what I got going on today. Why don't you join me? For someone that considers himself pretty traditional, I love real tube amps. Uh, I've never been big on modeling uh, before I discovered Tonex. The thing that's different about it is I can capture my own amplifiers. It's made it a lot of fun. Like I said, you can capture your whole rig, you can capture amplifiers, and you can also capture pedals. Now, I've already done a video on how to capture an amplifier. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on the pedal. I'm gonna discuss some strategies. Now, if you haven't done any capturing it with Tonex, you don't need any additional hardware if you have an interface that has built-in reamping capability or if you already have a reamping box. If you don't, IQ Multimedia does offer the Tonex Capture Box. It's uh, hiding behind me right here. I did talk about that in that other video, so make sure to check it out. Other than that, we just need some pedals to, uh, to model. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. to consider when you're capturing a pedal is that in the digital domain, the relationship between your pedal capture and an amplifier is gonna be quite different than what you'd get in the physical world. Now using an overdrive or a boost into an amplifier, that's sort of a tried and true way to really shape tone. It's, people have been doing it for decades, right? And there's a, a reaction that happens. Like I said, a, a boost will push an amp into the next stage of gain. And I think that's sort of the interesting part of this kind of modeling is that you can source with something you already own and then create different blends, different types of tones, and it's just a way to explore and find uh, different sounds for yourself. So it's important to understand that distinction. Now, the other thing is when you're capturing a pedal, that's only part of the tone, right? Because rarely are you gonna record a pedal all by itself without an amplifier. So, but because we're doing that by itself, what we're hearing is ultimately not gonna be the end result of what we're trying to get when we put it in the signal chain with our virtual amp and the cabinet as well. But still, it's good to sort of play around and sort of understand that what you're trying to achieve. You know, if you're looking for a little bit of a, you know, extra gain stage, if you're trying to really over distort the amplifier. So it's a good strategy sort of to figure out what you wanna do and then create a number of different instances where we're gonna do multiple captures. Again, it'll just give you more options uh, once you're in Tonex uh, on your computer. Now, once you're in there, there is an EQ stage and adjustments that you can make in Tonex, but that's sort of post capture. It's not emulating any of the settings on the pedal. So really that's sort of the first strategy is to think about what you're trying to achieve and create multiple captures so you have sort of different grades or different levels of that effect that you can choose from once you're in the box. <laughs> If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. It really helps this channel, and I really appreciate that. If you wanna jump into some deeper conversations with me and some of my friends, I've got the Lonely Rockers Club on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. Hope to see you there. All right, so let's get everything set up. I'm using the Tonex Capture Box to model these pedals. If you are using an interface with a built-in reamping setup, or if you've got your own reamping box, just adapt the setup uh, to your equipment. If you do have Tonex Capture, well, you can follow right along. To capture a pedal, you need to connect it between your audio interface and your capture box. Also important to note is you currently need an audio interface with four outputs. Two outputs need to be assigned to your speaker monitors and one to the capture box. Using a standard guitar patch cable, connect the output of your pedal to a line input on your audio interface. All interfaces are different, so make sure this input is set to line. Again, with a standard patch cable, connect the input on the pedal to the two amp jack on Tonex Capture or the equivalent output jack if you're using a different device. And then take another patch cable and connect an available output on your audio interface to the line input on your capture box. And lastly, plug your guitar into an available instrument input on your audio interface. 
That tilt overdrive from Rev is a killer overdrive pedal. It's got the built-in boost with a tilt EQ on it. Actually, I did a whole video about that. I'll also put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. But I will share those captures with you once we get through it, so uh, stay tuned to, to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get that. Also, this rat that I've had in my hand, this is actually an original vintage rat uh, from the early 80s. As you can see, there's no indicator light on it. This is an actual real early rat, so I'm gonna do some captures of this one as well. I'm gonna take you through the steps of the first one, but then I'm gonna replicate it by changing the settings uh, on each one and then we'll name each one accordingly. All right, let's uh, get to capturing. At this point, I'm going to assume you've played around with your pedal and you've noted some settings that you want to capture. From this point on, you're only going to hear the pedal by itself until you can test out your model with your virtual amps later. I'm going to capture three different settings from each pedal. The modeler is inside the standalone Tonex app. The step-by-step -step instructions makes the process really easy. I already went through the full process in my amp capture video. Link in the description if you want to see that. Here I'll focus on pedal capture specifics. On this screen, you choose Stomp. Carefully assign the routing so it matches your pedal, capture box, and interface setup. I recommend setting the levels on your pedal to optimize for the tone you're trying to achieve and adjust the input level on your interface to ensure you have a good signal. You can also compensate with the attenuator on the capture box. When it all looks and sounds good, let her fly. This process takes about four and a half minutes. The time for the final model training process depends on the accuracy level you choose and your computer's processing speed. And once it's all done, you can create some juicy metadata for your pedal and save it to your personal library. You can also upload it to tone.net and share it with the world. So I really wanted to know how different it sounded driving a real tube amp with a real overdrive pedal versus driving a model of a tube amp with a model of an overdrive pedal. So what I did was, is I did a capture with the tilt going into the Marshall, no cabinet, and then I captured the Marshall without the tilt overdrive. And then in the box, I was able to compare the model with the uh, tilt built in versus adding the tilt overdrive in front of the model of the Marshall just to see how different they sounded. Let's take a listen. You know, it's pretty scary how close it sounds. Now, that feeling you get driving a real pedal into a real amp, it's a feel thing, players understand that. But, once you get it into the mix, I'm almost reluctant to say how good it sounds. So for all you Amplitube and Tonex users, you're already familiar with Tone.net. If you're looking to jump into this ecosystem, uh, Tone.net is a place where all of us uh, guitar amp pedal aficionados can hang out. Uh, we can share the captures with our fellow guitar players around the world, bass players too. Anyways, I'm gonna make all the captures that I did in this video, I'm gonna make it available to you. All you have to do is be on Tone.net. If you're using Tonex, if you're using Amplitube, uh, you'll get in there, it doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, you just need to be using those applications. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for more information. All you have to do is search for Lonely Rocker on Tone.net and you will find all of the captures that I've done even in previous videos. And I'm slowly adding some more inventory. Uh, help yourself to anything that I've got there. But like I said, the pedals that I did will be up there. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, that's what the comment section is for. But if you really did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I'm on Patreon. I have affiliate links, I have merch, a lot of ways to support this channel. It all helps and I really appreciate it. All that information is in the description. The most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I look forward to seeing you again in another video.